150th. Ow. I think UPS is trying to get in. <laughs> And whimsy. I was, burp, burp. Yeah, I was expected to have noise and all oh, mine broke when I did it. Nice. And welcome to our 50th episode. Yay! One more time. Burp, burp. <laughs> I love these. They they are better if they make sounds, but they are. What do you expect from the dollar store? Mm. So we made it to 50 episodes. Woo! That's Huge. huge! And in honor we of the channel, us being able to consistently do it, we actually hung up the initials of the show just because, you know, we finally proven that we can do this consistently. We got us a sign. Mm -hmm. I think that makes it all official and stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We can't possibly use this room for anything but cake and whimsy now. It's 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 yeah, marked. It's like tattooed and branded. They're super mounted on. I can't move <laughs> yes, them at indeed. all. Yes, <laughs> indeed. So this channel was Jess's brainstorm <clears throat> and brainchild. Sorry, brainstorm. A little bit of both, I guess, actually. And uh, she has she asked me to be a part of it, but I have enjoyed all of it. Yay! And I have loved coming here and doing this, and thank you for the great idea. Aww, thank you for doing it with me. I uh, what is? I think we all know you're the star. Oh, oh, I am a star, but. Uh, <laughs> so, what is your favorite type of episode to do? <laughs> we have craft and whimsy. Mm -hmm. We have cake versus whimsy. We have Dungeons and Dragons. We have Dungeons and Dragons. We have our outings yep. and we just have our vlogs. I enjoy them all but I think our outings are really <laughs> my favorite because it forces us to get out and do some of the things that we've had on this list for a long time of stuff that we really wanted to get done and we just kept saying uh we'll do it next weekend. And next weekend never came, and now next weekend comes almost every weekend. It really does. It's uh, We're getting a lot more accomplished now, and that's kind of cool. Even when they're small things, they're just kind of cool little outings. So what's yours? You know, I would, for the lack of saying the same thing you said, I'm <laughs> going to say cake versus whimsy, despite uh, my dismal performance generally. Oh, that's right. We have Aluminum Chef, too. Hey, right. Aluminum Chef, right. Despite my performance... I am very much a fan of McLean vs. Desolates. <laughs> it's Cake vs. <versus> Whimsy. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sorry, Cake vs. Whimsy. <laughs> I enjoy competing and I, I enjoy finding creative ways to lose to my wife. And I enjoy winning, so it works out for everyone. I really enjoy singing You Are the Champion again. <laughs> but I'll get you, McLean! So tonight, we thought it would be fun for our 50th episode to kind of have a mini cake off. We, we figured there has to be cake. It's Cake and Whimsy, it's our 50th episode. Right there in the name. Uh, can't you tell? <laughs> so, we are going to attempt to make mug cakes for a sense of brevity. And we're gonna do it without any kind of recipe, but still following the Paleolithic rules and everything. Primarily because we lost the recipe. Yeah. And we're pretty sure it's simple, so this could be fun. We're going to wing it and then try our cakes. I think we're both going to try until we get an acceptable result. And when we get the acceptable result, we will pass that as our as our challenge. And there might be surprise presents relevant to the channel. Was I supposed to do presents? No, it's fine. How quickly can I get an Amazon drone here? No, it's fine. Oh. That means it's never fine. You know what? Um, it is fine because there's going to be cake in a few minutes. There will be cake. And that really is the only important part of this. We'll see you Let's then. Let's make the cake. Let's make the cake. <laughs> oh, I like that. Hey, get out of my kitchen. Sure, we'll go with kitchen. Hey, before we start, look at these two aprons. I just want to mention, Jess made both of these. She's pretty amazing. Aww. All right, he is going to be my little sous chef. So get where you can pass me things, please. 
Could you pass me an egg? And a trash bucket. Bring me the egg and the trash bucket, Maeve. One trash bucket, one egg. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna start mine off with one egg. Let's start at the very beginning. Very good place to start. Ah, why did you not break correctly? I have, why am I doing it in there instead of in the, I'm having a time of it already. Okay, I guess we'll just carve out a little hole instead. So I'm going to mix this up first so that I can really get it whipped, but I also want to take the membrane out because I don't like it when you're eating and then you get that white chunky membrane thing. That's just personal preference. So now, I can whisk this all up without all of the other ingredients interfering. Ooh, vanilla. So essentially, I'm gonna start with all my wet ingredients, which should be easy because I believe there are three. <laughs> There's gonna be an egg, some vanilla, and olive oil. For my vanilla, I'm gonna eyeball it. Yeah, maybe like a quarter of a teaspoon. Olive oil. Excellent. tablespoon. All right, next I'm going to start with my dry ingredients. So could I have the coconut flour, please? And a spoon. Coconut flour and a spoon. Now with our normal cake, we only use coconut flour. I'm debating currently if I want to use almond flour too or just the coconut. I like the texture that we get with just the coconut. Now remember when you're using coconut flour that it sets up liquid a lot more than almond flour does. So I'm going to stir this and see what kind of consistency I have before I add too much. And cocoa powder please. And a spoon would be nice. Not a monster. Thank you. I don't honestly know how much of that I'm adding. A lot of cooking for me is eyeballing things, even when we're doing baking. Oh, there is one other liquid ingredient I should have added already. Sweetener, which in this case is gonna be sweetened condensed coconut milk. Oh, that's looking good though. It looks like a brownie right now, and I'm not sad about that. Normally we don't eat a whole lot of sweetener. Um, but you know, it's a celebration. It's a party. This is maybe a little too sweet. <laughs> um, I wasn't even gonna make chocolate cake. I was gonna make chocolate chip cake, but apparently I'm making chocolate cake now. I think some salt, a little pinch of salt. Jenner is helping because I really like my cinnamon. My cinnamon. Uh, I think this might be. Oh, chocolate chips, please. Actually, no. Cherries, please. Now I'm going to start. I'm going to stop stirring as soon as I break up this last clump. Also, you should oil your your. Uh, your mug first, so you might want to take note of that. I forgot to. It'll come out much easier in the end if you do that. I was a fool. All right. That's gonna go in the trash bucket. I'm now going to place some cherries in here. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Semi evil cackle. Is that how that works? Is that a problem? No, no, Does I was just wondering you? why you went semi instead of uh, full cackle. Full on evil. Um, and next I'm going to bake this in the microwave. Yes, bake it in the microwave. I'm going to nuke it in the microwave for 60 seconds, turn it, and then another 90 seconds. Then I'm going to turn it out of the, the mug and see what we have. Mm. So while Jess is out cooking hers, I'm going to go with mine. Now, I skipped a couple steps so I wouldn't have to stop and go wash my hands in between. 
Um, so I've already greased my mug and I've already added my egg. And let's see what else we want to do. Um, I still want to add some of this stuff. You know what? I'm going to beat my egg first. It's misbehaved. It must be shown who's boss. Spare the beet, spoil the egg. you really got to beat this one good or whatever whole parts still end up in there end up uh, looking a little disgusting inside the mug cake. I say this like I do it every day but that is not the case. Let's see we'll add a little bit of extra oil to that. I think that should be fine. We'll add a little bit of vanilla now. There we go. That's way too much vanilla but don't tell Jess. Let's see, we'll incorporate all of that. When I had a different diet, I used to love mug cakes. They were pretty awesome. Uh, so I'm going to use less sweetener than Jess had because I think she went a little crazy. Uh, let's do this. There we go. That should be fine. Toss those guys in the garbage bowl. Mix all this stuff up together. Okay, let's see. I'm going to take a small chance. Oh, I so don't want to do this, but I think I maybe need to do just a little bit of this. The tiniest little scrunch of baking soda. That's me appeasing the baking gods. It has nothing to do with whether it's needed or not. It's just me not wanting to make a cake without actually putting some baking soda in it. All right, we're going to throw some cinnamon in there because like Jess, I like cinnamon. A little bit of nutmeg, I think, in mine. Not too much, but a little bit. And of course, you don't want to forget the main event, which I'm going to say is probably about that much. So let's see what happens when we mix it all up. I think I got everything in there. All right, let's see. It's starting to look pretty good. It smells pretty nice. Oh, yeah. Now I'm going to mix a few of these guys in so I can make chocolate chip. That'll be good. And I'm going to put a few more on top as a, when it's not quite done to make a little bit of a gooey top to it. But I'm also probably going to add a bunch of those into the frosting that I make afterwards as well. So we'll see how all this goes. Oh yeah. That is my mug cake. I think it's going to be okay. Hopefully not too, too dry. That'll do it. Let's see how it works out. Ta-da! So for finishing mine off, I melted some Enjoy Life chocolate chips, poured them on top. Basically mine's a cherry upside down, a chocolate cherry upside down microwave cake. And I saw her doing it and said, that is an amazing way to present that cake. I guess I got to figure out something else. <laughs> so my frosting is the same Enjoy Your Life chocolate chips with a little bit of uh, sweetened condensed milk and Ooh. also... It's going to be super sweet. And also some coconut oil to give them some cling. I used avocado oil in mine just because you should do that to get it that nice runny consistency, adding a little oil to them. And I decided I'd just cut mine in half and drizzle it everywhere so it would just be every bite is full of chocolate. Shall we? Yes, we shall. Tasting our own first and... Yeah, and then we can taste each other's. Make sure I get a piece of cherry in mine. 
by a piece, I mean I'm getting a whole cherry in mine. Mmm. I'm happy. I'm delighted. The cherry's nice and refreshing and gives that little pop of acid in mine. I think mine's better than yours. Oh, well, make sure you get a cherry in there when you get a bite. Alright. They're so good. Oh, yours is nice and soft. Mm-hmm. Oh, very moist. Anytime you add the chocolate, the chocolate to the cake, it tends to be a little drier, but that's mm -hmm. very good. I like yours a lot, and I know you like chocolate and cherry as a mm -hmm. flavor profile more than I do. Oh. <laughs> I like I like mine way more than yours. That's okay. I like yours okay. I accidentally added chocolate, and I think if I had done it again, I would just put chocolate chips in the cake instead of full-on chocolate, but I would leave my cherries because I like that pop of acid. Mm -hmm. So, yay, we both like our cakes. Happy 50th. Happy 50th episode. Wow. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. I just made a big grunting sound. Nice. I think these are going back on the the regular menu. Yeah. Except we don't know our measurements. Well. We just dump things in. We'll just do it until it works. But Proving. Just mix stuff and still it looks like it, until it looks like it's the right consistency. Which Try is, things. Which is almost never a good idea for baking. But in this particular case, it's, it's a small enough bake that a lot of baking rules don't apply. I threw some baking soda into mine just to appease mm. the baking gods. <laughs> <laughs> That's baking gods, not bacon gods. I'm sorry, I can't talk anymore. Oh, okay. I was just gonna, you know, shut the camera off and dig into this. Mm. Giant mouth bite. I have to have extra fat with dinner now. <laughs> We're back! That was delicious, and I'm super happy we decided to go rogue on our cake. I want about six more of those. <laughs> that, that is going to be added to the to the exchange of pastries, but it will be, uh, you know, with a lot more fat. <laughs> Unless the afternoon glow and blinding light creeps up on us. Oh, right! We have one more thing that we need to we do. We do! Happy okay. 50th episode! Oh, no! I'm going to blind them with the glowy paper now. Well, <laughs> also, while we're here, look at the amazing job she does wrapping <laughs> these presents. Oh, yours looks nice, She's too. She's crazy. True story, when I first met Jess, I wrapped every present I ever gave in a uh, in a plastic bag that came from Walmart or wherever <laughs> it happened to be. I made an exception sometimes for Christmas, mm. but everything else got wrapped up in that. So that's pretty awesome. Can I open mine first or should we no, exchange no, first? No, go for it. Okay. He said to go with silly and for the and for the channel. Silly and for the, for channel. the channel. You did an exceptional job wrapping this. I, I really I, didn't. I'm amazed you managed to get it in that many things. A sushi bazooka? Yes. What the heck is a sushi bazooka? It is exactly what it sounds like. Okay, three easy steps. Pack and it's it all full pictures. of rice, yeah. lay things inside of it, and then squirt it out into some seafood wrap. Yep. Whoa! Sushi bazooka. Okay, okay. I think we could do a lot of fun things, like I use cauliflower rice and, definitely. and figure some stuff out, and maybe a dessert one at some point, just to get weird. Ooh. Like maybe some brownies, because they mush up nice for the outside, and then you put like some ice cream in the center or something. Uh, ice I cream, am, brownie, sundae, sushi. I'm all over this. I might still be hopped up on sugar from earlier. Thank you very much. Yay, that happy 50th episode. Cool. Now, and you guys will be seeing that in a future episode. Coming to YouTube near you. All right, ready? Oh, I forgot I get one. Oh, it's so big. This one is for you. Oh, geez. It's kind of heavier than I expected. Right. No. Crepes. Can I? Can I yeah. Okay. Rip in anywhere. Okay. Uh, Rah! I did not ask Jess's advice on this one, but I did do what? something I knew she wanted. I almost did this for you, and then I decided that it was too long. So I cheated a tiny bit. He did! Jess, Jess said when she was buying things for me. So that you guys know what he's talking about. 
This is an induction cooker, like the Tasty Videos kind of things here. Yep. We've been wanting to do something like this so we can do our own cooking videos in a little more efficient a fashion. Yeah. The so. lighting here, contrary to what it looks like right now, is better than in our kitchen. So. so I told Jess when she gave me the option of fun, inexpensive, and this to go with the fun, inexpensive one. Cheater. And I had no intention of spending that kind of money for this. However, when I saw the price on it, I realized it was the exact thing Jess was probably going to have bought for me. <laughs> and so I agreed that that made an amazing gift. So it, it, they're both for us, really. So now we have the appropriate Yay! tools to do fun stuff. This will be super fun, and this will definitely show up in future videos. I, we have a 50th video... Extravaganza, exchange, which gives us tools to do 50 more videos. Yeah. Woohoo! You want to give us a 50th episode present? Why not hit the subscribe button right there in the glowing area? A lot of people never even make it to 50 videos. We did right. this in like two months or two so. Two and a half, three months, yeah, something was, like that. It was pretty cool. So, yeah. you know, just because of that, you know, you should subscribe to the channel and see how long, you know, how far we can stretch this. <laughs> um, certainly like the video, but we would love your subscriptions. They yeah. help us know we're not horrible at this. <laughs> and, you know, everyone who does this kind of thing. Oh my gosh, I'm a glowing bean. Okay, sorry. <laughs> and blind now. So everyone who does this kind of thing kind of feels like they might not be good at it. And we certainly share those same feelings a lot. So having subscribers lets us know we're not horrible at this, at least. Just to be clear, if we're bad at it, we're going to keep doing it anyway. <laughs> yeah, and we still want you to subscribe. Whether you encourage but, us or not, we'll just try to be better if you encourage yeah, us. <laughs> but, but our emotions are more charged up if we get <laughs> subscribers, so... Don't make us sad oh. on our 50th, an 50th video anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> and so, now I think... Let's, Let's frost, frost the cake. cake.